Hi guys, is it possible to insult both the people of Northern Ireland and the people of Scotland in the space of 45 seconds? Well, that's exactly what Ben Lowry did when he appeared on the BBC The View show. Ben is the editor of The Newsletter, a staunch unionist outlet which is closer to the headbanger DUP than the moderate Ulster Unionists. Ben claimed here that the English are getting tired of Northern Ireland always having its hand out, and the same goes for Scotland. Have a listen to this. One of the big problems at Stormont, and we saw this tonight and we see it in every major issue, is one thing the parties agree on, including Irish Republicans, criticising the UK, demanding more money, never accepting any efficiencies, any cutbacks, any, any new ways of doing things here in Northern Ireland. And I would argue that, of course, Irish nationalists and Irish Republicans are going to be happy with that and join with unionists in criticising London, which is so generous to Northern Ireland. I think unionists need to be wary about that because it's going to cause, which is a big peril for unionists in London, people to say, we're getting tired of Northern Ireland, as they're also saying in London in many quarters about Scotland, which has a similar approach to demanding money all the time. Oh my goodness. Okay. What an insulting thing to say to the people of Scotland and to the people of Northern Ireland. Now, let's focus on Scotland first. The SNP government with the Green Party, but the SNP government in particular, is not interested in more money. They're not demanding more money all the time. They would actually prefer an independent Scotland so that the revenues that are coming in from, for example, North Sea oil and gas would actually go to the Scottish government, not to Westminster. And then a bit of change coming back from Westminster. That's what the SNP government would prefer. It's not about asking money from Westminster all the time. So he doesn't understand Scotland. And then when... Then, of course, the main point, Northern Ireland. Westminster is not upset or tired with Northern Ireland because of money. It's because of the bloody political situation. Now, the party that the newsletter seemed to be supportive of, the DUP, are boycotting the Northern Ireland Assembly. There is no executive up and running at the moment. And the newsletter is supportive of that. They back the boycott. This is undermining Northern Ireland. This is showing Northern Ireland to be a basket case. Not the budget or how the ministers spend the money. But he's undermining unionism by saying this. Saying that, well, we should be thankful to Westminster. (laughs) We should listen to what they have to say. And frankly, you know, we should be going, we shouldn't be going there asking for more money. We should be thankful for what you know, crumbs they throw us. But this is undermining unionism because, as he said in the clip itself, we should be accepting cuts and reforms, and reforms obviously mean cuts to public services. But if public services are reduced in Northern Ireland, what does that mean for the people of Northern Ireland? How will people in Northern Ireland look at crumbling public services and say, well, look across the border in the Republic, their economy is booming. How they spend the money is another issue, but their economy is booming. We're struggling. Would we be better to stay in the Union or would we be better to join a united Ireland? So by by demanding that West that Westminster impose cuts or that, uh, that Stormont deliver cuts undermines the Union, undermines the, the whole point of being part of the Union. You should be actually encouraging Westminster to send more money. You should be encouraging the DUP to get back into the executive and you should be encouraging them to spend more and more money on public services because that would be a great advertisement for the union. But he's doing the opposite. (laughs) I'm trying to help you, Ben. I'm trying to help unions here, but they want to go in the opposite direction. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.